Putting their demands down on pavement, a nationwide cry now painted in downtown Baltimore that says defund police, printed onto Gage Street right outside of the War Memorial Building. The normal is shifting, and so folks have no choice but to sit and look and listen and figure out what is happening now. Those calls ringing out in the wake of George Floyd's death while in police custody. Demonstrators demanding city council to cut the Baltimore Police Department's budget in half, allocating available funds to the community. We need, need, need for resources to be reallocated and reinvested into communities that have been divested from for so long. Council members met virtually to look at a $550 million budget for Baltimore police for the next fiscal year. Uh, this is a call to action, and I want to say to my colleagues uh, that now is the time for us to systematically reassess how we invest, invest our public dollars. Commissioner Michael Harrison defending his proposal, saying now isn't the time to defund police as murders in the city spike, the clearance rate for those cases dropping, and the department continuing its efforts to rebuild while under a federal consent decree, which he claims has forced major reforms. Our department embraces reforms and we will continue this progress because the residents of our city deserve a world-class police force that inspires trust. The department's leader, though saying he is proposing some cuts to help the city pay for current education reforms and costs brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. But protesters say they will continue until their demands are met. We don't need a lot of words. We don't need them to talk about it forever. We need them to do action. I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV 11 News.